The last couple nights when I woke up in the morning, it was zero, about zero degrees out when I turned on the light and looked at the outside temperature. And inside the house, it had kind of started to get a little bit cold. Uh, the heat from the wood stove from being running all night long uh, wasn't as strong after eight hours uh, of operation and it kind of kind of gone cold in the house. And so I come down in the morning always to start up the wood stove. And as I was doing that uh, yesterday, I thought about how um, in our relationship with God, the, the fire in our heart sometimes uh, starts to get cold. Um, it, it starts to, to dwindle. It's not as hot and it's not as obvious. It's not as radiant in our life. Um, and we realize that we're starting to, to, to grow cold, that there's like a, an ember within us that's kind of fading. You know, and we want to call out to God and say, look, God, don't let this ember go out, go out within me. Um, Lord, what can I do to regain the fire that I have for you and the passion for you? And so today in my video, um, I'm going to stir up the embers in this wood stove and get a good fire going here this morning. And I want to compare that uh, to our faith. So I'm um, going to open up the wood stove here. Now, when I first opened this door here, you look in and there doesn't seem to be pretty much any fire at all. No flames and no wood left. And it almost seems like all hope is gone for this fire, but it's really not true. And then when I come in and I stir up the fire a little bit, I see that there's just kind of a little remnant, remnant of ember left in there. And as I, I stir that up, what I'm doing is um, I'm pulling out what was a fire earlier and was kind of settled in the bottom of the stove. You start to see some red embers there. And what I want to do is just breathe on it a little bit. You get to see that really, really liven up. When we look at a fire like this, when you see those embers starting to, to turn up, you know, we, we realize that the, the stuff that God put us, put in us early in life it is still there. It's still our core convictions. But what we haven't done is we haven't added enough to it lately. We haven't put any dry kindling on it. And when the fire goes out, in order to get this fire reignited, you want to put some small dry kindling on it. And in small dry kindling, to me, is the very words of God. In uh, Luke chapter 24, uh, Jesus was on the road to Emmaus with a couple disciples and he spoke the word to them. And they said, didn't our hearts burn within us when he spoke? And so what I'm gonna do is throw some small dry kindling, some small pieces of, of really dry kindling on that fire. I'm gonna throw a couple bigger pieces on there. And I usually throw a piece of newspaper in the back to make sure I get a real good draft. That's not starting the fire at all. That's just getting me a good draft. Now I'm going to breathe on those coals so I can get that dry kindling to ignite. Just a little breath. Which is kind of like the prayer of our hearts when we call out to God and we say, God, I acknowledge that, you know, I need you back in my life. I need your words of life. My fire has kind of started to go out and, and I need you to reignite it in my life. And so I'm going to close that door so that my basement doesn't fill up with smoke. So now as this fire gets going warm and uh, starts to heat the house again, I just want to say every one of us within our life and our faith, there's times when 
it seems like the fire of our faith, our passion for God, uh, starts to starts to go out. And we're like, well, what's wrong? What's wrong with my life? What's wrong with, why don't I love God like I used to love him? Why aren't I, as, why am I not as passionate as I used to be? And uh, I think that's usually because it's been too long since we threw some kindling on our faith. It's been too long since we fed our faith some some dry wood. You know what dry wood? Dry wood is emptying ourselves of the flesh. It's humbling ourselves before God and saying, you know what? I, I'm, I'm lost without you, God. I need your forgiveness. I need your salvation. And so we got to come before him and we got to say, you know what, God? I'm, I'm lost without you. I have to empty myself of the flesh. And I want your word in my life. I want to pray. I want to seek you. I need your hope and your help. And when you open the word, uh, not out of duty, but out of desire, and you read it, it reignites a fire within you, like those disciples on the road to Emmaus, where when Jesus spoke, it said that his word burned in our hearts. It got them excited with passion for their faith. And so if your fire has gone out, if you feel like you're not as passionate about God, it, it's time to stir up the embers of the faith that, that were your foundational beliefs. And throw some dry kindling on there. Uh, open the Bible and, and read it. Um, and say, God, speak to me through this. And as we, we put some dry kindling on it, our fire will start to grow. On Sunday, I'm going to talk about a whole bunch of other things we can do to reignite that fire. Um, but today, the biggest thing I want to do is encourage you that you can be passionate about the Lord. Again, what you have to do is you just have to stop throwing water on the fire. you got to stop uh, ignoring the fire. You have to feed the fire. You have to go approach God and say, you know what, God, I need you again. Let me hear your words that give me life. So start the fire again. Stir up the embers. Read the word of God. Throw some dry kindling on that passion that was once in your heart, and you'll be amazed at how your life begins to radiate again and how you begin to be filled with the joy of the Lord and that that would be your strength. Um, so I just want to encourage you to do that today. Pull off during your lunch break, you know, sometime during the day, uh, and just sit down with your Bible and read a couple verses and see what amazing thing they do for you. This is getting too hot. I need to close the dampers, so I'm done. God bless you, and keep growing.